My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 115. Day 115. Day, day 3115. 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 115, we are on the topic of probability. And today we'll have our last lesson, last video on the topic in the series of 15 video. This is the 15th video in the series of 15. We'll do problem number 15 that you will find on page number 322. Make sure the book is in front of you. Turn to page number 322. On the very top of the page, the very first problem on that page, page 322, you will see problem number 15. And I put the problem on the blackboard. Read it yourself, the problem, because I do not put down the whole problem verbatim. Here's what it says. It says that we have two individuals, A and B, and they are working. They are working on a problem. They are working to solve a certain problem, and we are told that they are working independently. In other words, the odds of A succeeding or failing has absolutely nothing to do with how B performs and vice versa. In other words, the odds that either B will succeed or fail has no impact, no influence, nothing to do with how A did. They work independently. We are told that A has 80% chance of success, 80% chance of succeeding, and B has a 70% chance of succeeding. B had a, has a 70% chance of succeeding. Let's answer the question. What are the odds that they will both succeed? Well, because they are working independently, if the two events are independent, which, which, which they are here, if two events are independent, then the odds, if two events are independent, then the odds that they will both succeed is simply the product of the two individual probabilities. It is simply the product of the two individual probabilities. If they are independent, which they are here, because we are told they are independent. If event A and B are independent, then the odds that both A and B will happen is simply the probability of A times the probability of B. Because they are independent, as I said before. The odds that A will succeed is 80%, which is 8 out of 10. The odds that B will succeed is 70%, which is 7 out of 10. 7 7s are 49. I know 7 7s are 49. 7 square, I, do, I, I know my square. 7 square is 49. But if you add one more 7, instead of 7 7, if you have 8 7, 49 plus 7, 49 plus 1 is 50. 50 plus uh, 6 will be 56. 56 over 100. 8 7 8, 8 7s are 56. 56 over 100, so it's 56%. There we go. Let's look at part B. Part B says, what are the odds? What are the odds that at least one of them will succeed? At least one of them will succeed. The odds that at least one of them will succeed is same as 1 minus the odds that they both, that they both bomb, that they both fail, that they both fail. Now we haven't found it out yet. We do not have the odds yet. We, do have, we haven't calculated the odds of both of them failing, which coincidentally happens to be part number 3. So they are asking us in part, part C, they are asking us in part C the information that we need to answer part B. So why don't we do part C first? What are the odds that they will both fail? It's right here. Instead of both succeeding, they are going to both fail. Watch what happens. They are going to both fail. And the odds of, prob the odds of both of them are failing again is, the, is simply the product of the two odds individually. I am going to rewrite the B here because I don't like it the way it was written. So this, this is how it was originally. But we're not talking about these two people succeeding, we're talking about these two people failing. And if A represents the odds of A succeeding, then A with the little bar on it means A will not succeed. This means, with the bar on the top, means A will not succeed. In other words, A will fail. 
this symbol represents, but the bar means A fails. A fails. And times the probability that B will fail. Well, that's, all, that's very straightforward. The odds that A will succeed is 80%. Therefore, the odds that A will fail has got to be 20%. Odd that B will succeed is 70%, therefore the odd that B will actually succeed is only 30%. There you go, we are done. 2 times 3 is 6, it's 6 out of 100. So the odds, the odds that they will both fail, the odds that they will both fail, let's erase all of this thing because it's getting to be too much. The odds that they will both fail is 6%, therefore the odds that at least one of them succeed, which is simply 1 minus the odds that they both fail, 1 minus the odds that they both fail, we know what the odds are of both of them failing, the odds of both of them failing is only 6%, so it's simply 100 minus 6%, whatever is left over after you take over 6%, this is 94%, that's all. And that was the end of it. Tomorrow, which is, listen carefully please, tomorrow, which is going to be 16, day 116, I'm going to pick up from where we left off with permutations and combinations. One more time, there were five videos that we did on permutations and combinations, and I'm going to pick up from where we left off and we'll tackle all the permutations and combinations problem, all the permutations and combinations problem that you will see that you will, that, that we have on page 321 and 322. I don't think there is anything on 322. Oh, no, there is not, there are no permutations and combination problem on page 322 or 323, but there are some permutations and combination problems on page 321 and perhaps even 320. Those are the ones we're going to do starting from tomorrow. Okay? Bye now.